Have you ever found yourself losing a sale and not knowing why? Well, one of the reasons might be your posture. And when I say posture, I don't mean whether you sat and slumped in the chair or had your chin up. I mean the whole posture of how you went into the sale. So we want to talk today about the ABCs of posture in sales. Hi, I'm Bill Hellcamp, owner of Reach Development Systems. The ABCs of posture stand for attitude, belief, and commitment. How are you in those areas when you walk in on a sales call? First, let's talk about attitude. Your attitude has to be upbeat, it has to be positive, you have to be moving forward confidently during, during a sales call, even during a, a, a prospecting call. I remember when I was a young salesperson, we had a, a secretary that worked for the sales team and, and, and wrote down all the leads that came in. And, and sometimes she would write on my lead, hey, this is a, this is a great lead, uh, uh, very excited about it, uh, looks like a big deal. Uh, sometimes she'd write, doesn't seem to know what they're talking about, uh, don't think they're a good fit. Well, I would take that, and, and if she wrote a good thing on the lead, I'd, I'd, I'd call it quickly and with enthusiasm. And if she wrote a so-so or bad thing on the lead, I'd, I'd kind of hesitate and maybe wait a few days and then be too embarrassed to call them and, and, and maybe not call them if I did with any enthusiasm. Well, what did she know about whether the lead was any good or not? She had no idea other than the way the person sounded on the phone. And so finally what I did was I asked her, just write positive things on all of my leads. And she did, and I, I started calling them with more enthusiasm. If I'd been smart, I would have controlled my attitude myself and not worried about what she put on the lead card. Just called all of them with enthusiasm and, and would have increased my sales. So the first thing is, how do we go into the lead? How do we go into the deal? What kind of enthusiasm do we have? The B stands for belief in the ABCs, and that's belief in, well, that's belief in yourself, belief in your product, belief in the company that you represent, belief in the total value proposition that you're putting out there to your client, that you are the best value that they can find in this space. I remember I was, I was, uh, I was on a sales call uh, doing a ride-along with a young salesperson, and, and he was selling soft, a software solution. And so as he got in with the prospect, we started to have the conversation, and things were going well until the prospect asked some difficult questions about some problems that they had had with the software in the past. Well, you could tell that the salesperson maybe even believed that those were still problems, and the, sales, the sale went downhill from there. And the challenge was is that you could tell the salesman didn't have belief. Well, we were soon ushered out of that office with just a promise that he would look over the literature, but I'm sure he never did, and, and I'm sure he never called back to, to finalize the deal. So we need to have belief in ourselves, our product, our companies, our value. And the C stands then for commitment. What's your level of commitment when you're in the sale? Do you... Do you, are you going to take the first no, the second no, or are you, are you going to fold at the first objection? Are you going to be committed to making sure that the deal goes through? Are you going to be committed to the follow-up that you have to do, the sending the proper letters, doing the right things in the follow-up, to be, have the commitment? Are you going to let things fall through because, well, it's not that big a deal to write a follow-up letter? Commitment is so crucial. It reminds me of the story of Hernando Cortez and, and his troops. He had brought his troops to Mexico on a few ships, and, and, and they were going to find their fame and fortune. But, but when they got on the beaches, they, they started to worry, and they started to wonder whether they would have enough forces to conquer an entire nation, even though they had superior firepower. Well, when Cortez started to hear that they were, that they were hesitating, that they were waffling, as it were, he burned the ships, and they had nowhere to go. It was either win or die. That's the kind of commitment we need on every deal. If it's going to move forward, we're the ones that are going to have to drive it as good, quality, professional salespeople. So if you want to close more deals, have good posture. It doesn't hurt to sit up straight in the chair, but, but have the attitude, belief, and commitment that it takes to really close the big deals.